Okay guys, in today's video I'm actually going to show you how to get the Star Glow Star Silver Claymore, which is the new Claymore that they added and you can craft it at the smithy. Now, it is a quest that you should do, but if you weren't paying attention, you probably missed a few things. And I am actually going to go over the all of the pillars real quickly, and then after that I'll talk about how to find the secret one, which is actually hidden, and then after that we'll just wrap up the video. So this will actually be a short one. So the first one will be at the snow-covered pass, east of the frost-bearing tree. The second one will be in the Entomb City Ancient Palace. The third one is a little bit up the road from Albedo's camp. The fourth one is in the Entomb City outskirts, underground where you broke the ice to actually unlock the summit. The next one is in between the Entomb City outskirts and Starglow Cavern in a ruin where you actually had to solve a puzzle to unlock a few chests. There is also one at the summit at the domain of Vindagner. The next one is in the Starglow Cavern. And the last one is also at Starglow Cavern. It's behind this door, which is closed by three boxes. You will need a princess box, a cleric's box, and also a priest box. And this is where you get those. The first one is actually on a little island east of the Frostbearing Tree, also where you found the first gravestone. This, In this area, you have to touch a sword and then activate a quest which after you beat the quest you will actually get the box. The next one is actually a little bit up the road from Albedo's camp as well. When you actually reach the first pillar or the first gravestone you can just go up a little further. You will see some animal ground underground. If you activate these it will take you up to a little pillar. I couldn't find all three of them so I just climbed and this is where you get the next box. The last box is actually at Starglow Cavern at the entrance on the west side. If you go to the teleport point and just jump over, you will see a little gravestone here. It's not one of the gravestones that actually activates the door, but this one will, if you put some flowers here, because it will prompt you to put some flowers here, they will give you a treasure chest, which will give you the box, okay? After that, you can just go back to the door, activate this door, get all three chests inside and then activate the final pillar on the inside after that you can just go back down to the entomb city ancient palace and activate this door and then you will get the blueprint for the star glow star silver that's it everyone thank you all for stopping by don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed it or if it helped and have a great day